I'm Demi, I'm 25 and I had my stroke in 2015. I was the life and soul of the party. I was everywhere, I was always out, I was always sitting over the tension. I just loved it, I loved life. Um, yeah, there was nothing I felt I couldn't do. And, and I just lived my best life, I had the fun. Yeah, life was good, life was really good. So it was October the 1st, 2015, and I was working in recruitment at the time. It was about eight o'clock, I got into work, and I said to one of the girls, I was like, I don't feel well, I feel funny. And she went, oh, shut up, you princess. And I said, no, honestly, I don't feel right. And I came up with like a, a rash on my arm, and I said, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. She said, no, you're being silly. And I went, no, I am, and then with that, I just must have just collapsed on the floor. Woke up, there was ambulances there. I had, I was sweating, but I was ice cold. Um, and I couldn't feel my legs. And I remember screaming, I can't feel my legs. And I couldn't, my tongue was really numb. And I remember just thinking, I've got no control over my body. And I just laid there and they literally carried me out on a stretcher into the ambulance. Um, and then I got to the hospital and they said it's stress. This is not stress. Um, so I got my phone and my left arm went first. My legs, were, both of my legs went and then it was my left arm. And then with my right one, I looked at the camera because my face, my lip felt funny. So I've looked and I was like, oh, what's that? So then realised and I said to them my face doesn't look like this this is not my face so they went away and came back sat down and she asked me some questions about what the date was and, and I got them all wrong and then she, she I remember she held my hand and she said you're having a stroke it's like I'm not old I'm not 78 years old having a stroke but this is ridiculous got rushed to recess the neurologist there done a few questions on his phone that said you're fine it's stress go home by this point my face had really dramatically dropped completely paralyzed I was just about saying to him like no this is not stress I'm not leaving this hospital and normally I don't argue but I was like no this isn't right head of neurology come down and he asked me some questions and when I was blinking I went blinking symmetrically and he said he was like she's having a stroke in front of us how would you go into discharge her? And he basically turned around and said, she's too young to have a stroke. I agreed with him, I was like, you sure it's not something else? And then that was it, and then I was in hospital for about three days. And then, because my mum came home, they was like, oh, you'll be, she turned up at the hospital. And they said, oh, you'll be all right. And they gave me a box of clopida drill. I went, go home and you'll find, my mum had to wheel me out in a wheelchair, because um, I was still paralysed for months. I didn't do anything. My whole life has changed. Um, don't go like that. I started getting Botox, because my face was, I felt like a monster. Couldn't look in the mirror. I was disgusted with myself, and I just thought, I can't do anything, I was tired, I'm always tired. My memory is ridiculous. I'm the most emotional person probably known to man at this present time. It's just, it's awful and I didn't get no support from the hospital. None. And if it weren't for different strokes and understanding how common strokes were in younger people, I think I would have set myself in clinically insane because it just, if, it, even everyone in my family, like family and friends were saying, it's not a stroke, it's not a stroke, too young. And then you start to believe yourself, I'm too young. And I, I literally drove myself mad. The washing machine, I knew it was a washing machine. Could not tell you how to use it. I had no idea. Things, I've had people knock on the door straight afterwards. And I just looked at them like, who are you? And it's people I knew. So it's been really hard, and then obviously with different strokes. Oh my God, there's just so many people, and they just get it. 
and it's like oh, someone understands me and it's like my getaway and like my safe space because they don't judge. They genuinely understand what I'm going through. Um, they're not like it's been three years, get over it. They understand it's a longer process. And seeing that some people have not been as fortunate as me, I have bounced back. A lot of mine is more mental than physical. And then you see the people that have a heartbreak from because I understand what it's like. And that's why things like this have to be done. I'm able to do it. Don't matter how scared I am. They need me to do it. I needed that information pack to help me understand what was going on. I had no idea. It helped my mum. You know, I'm not always active on Facebook because sometimes it, it does get too much, but then I'm like, no, I've come on, just catch up and reading everyone's stories. And it's da daily, there's someone there daily. And I'm like, this is insane. And there's still doctors are still saying it's only older adults and it's ridiculous. And there's just not enough awareness being made that just isn't. Be kind to yourself, first and foremost. Don't put pressure on yourself. Don't, because someone else has recovered this way or has gone through it differently, it doesn't mean you're going through it differently, you're not crazy. Don't make yourself look crazy because you're not you're human. Um, Slow recovery, it's not fast, there's no quick fix. Ask for help when you need it. Um, don't don't be scared. Um, you're not alone. No matter how alone you feel, just because your story is different still doesn't mean you're alone because you're not no one's alone. Um I think just the main thing is just to be uh, kind to yourself. I think no one can give you advice, I can't give you advice. Your friend, your neighbour can't give you advice, no one else can. We could try and help you understand things, but it ultimately it's down to you and you need to go at your pace and do what you feel. Sort of